Air Systems recommends monthly monitor calibration to ensure peak safety performance. Note, do not substitute gases of greater or lesser parts per million values. Today we will calibrate a CO and CO02 monitor. Our calibration kit contains the following. A storage case, a regulator assembly with tube, a 17 liter cylinder of zero air, a 17 liter of 20 parts per million concentration of carbon monoxide for our U.S. customers, or a 10 parts per million concentration of CO for our Canadian customers. O2 gas is also available for those who own a CO O2 monitor. The zero adjustment is the first of three phases in the calibration process. Now let's get started by turning the monitor on and allowing it to stabilize for at least 15 seconds. Connect the regulator to the zero error cylinder and then to the monitor. Open the regulator by turning the knob counterclockwise. Use the calibration tool to turn the zero screw until it reads a value of zero, zero. This is achieved by turning clockwise to increase the value and counterclockwise to decrease the value. Close the regulator, then remove from the zero air cylinder. Phase two of the calibration process is a span adjustment. Unless the monitor is removed as shown, it is normal for the alarms to go off during this stage of calibration. The monitor should still be on. To begin the span adjustment, connect the regulator to the carbon monoxide gas cylinder and open the regulator by turning the knob counterclockwise. Allow the monitor to stabilize for 15 seconds or more. Use the calibration tool to turn the span screw until it reads 20 or 10 if in Canada. This is achieved by turning clockwise to increase the value and counterclockwise to decrease the value. Close the regulator, then remove from the CO gas cylinder. Phase three of the calibration process is the zero adjustment. Repeat the zero adjustment procedure to ensure instrument accuracy. Now a tip for you. Press metal clip to remove the tube from the monitor when done. If you have a carbon monoxide monitor, the calibration process is complete. You may turn the monitor off. If you have the monitor with the oxygen option, we have one final phase of calibration and that would be the O2 adjustment. Make sure the monitor is turned on and been allowed to stabilize for at least 15 seconds. Connect the regulator to the O2 cylinder and the monitor. Open the regulator by turning the knob counterclockwise. Use the calibration tool to turn the O2 adjusting screw until it reads a value of 20.9. Turning clockwise to increase the values and counterclockwise to decrease the values. Turn off the monitor, close the regulator, remove the gas tube. Your calibration is now complete.